And I'm really happy to have this opportunity to express my personal sympathies to those in London who uh, lost their loved ones. But then war is a dirty business. And all I can say is that I'm happy that it's all over now. Dr. Van Guan, were you embarrassed to come to London this time after being responsible for the B weapons during the war? Well, <clears throat> this is of course a um, question that is very close to my heart and I'm very happy that you ask it to uh, me because I don't want to duck that question which I know is vital to uh, every Londoner. I read a little note in the paper this morning that I came too late to see the scars of the V2. Now, I know very well that there are some scars that no amount of building program can be removed, and that is the fact that a lot of people were killed here. And I'm really happy to have this opportunity to express my personal sympathies to those in London who uh, lost their loved ones in uh, these uh, B weapon raids. But then war is a dirty business, and all I can say is that I'm happy that it's all over now. And you're happier doing the work you're doing now than you were then? Yes. Dr. Van Bon, it's been suggested that you may be working back in your native country, Germany. Is this so? No, I have no intention to go back to Germany. I'm an American citizen now. I have two little daughters that were born in the United States, and I have all intentions to stay right there. I'm very happy in the United States. What is the next project or experiment in your field of rocket research? Well, we are devoting uh, part of our time, of course, at the Army Ballistic Missile Agency to the development of military missiles. But a very substantial portion of our time, I would say more than 50% now, is directly devoted to the advancement of space flight. And then we have two programs in Huntsville. One deals with the so-called Men in Space program, so-called uh, Project Mercury, which is sponsored by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The objective of this program is to put a man in orbit for which an Atlas intercontinental ballistic missile will be used as a carrier. Now we play the first part in this program in that we will provide some limited rides over ballistic trajectories of a few hundred miles range to these astronauts to give them a little inkling of what space flight is like.